the purpose here is not to get political at all. I am just informing you of the new recommended names for nine existing army bases that were named for Confederate generals. First up is Fort Bragg, North Carolina, named after Confederate General Braxton Bragg. The recommended new name is Fort Liberty. Fort Benning, Georgia. This is where I did basic and officer training. It is named after Confederate General Henry Benning. The recommended new name is Fort Moore in honor of General Hal Moore and his wife. General Moore is famous for his role in the 1965 Battle of the Eadrang Valley in Vietnam when he was a lieutenant colonel. Mel Gibson portrays him in the movie We Were Soldiers. Fort Gordon, Georgia is named after Confederate General John Brown Gordon. The recommended new name is Fort Eisenhower, honoring the former president and supreme commander of Allied forces during World War II, General Dwight Eisenhower. Fort A.P. Hill, Virginia is named after Confederate General Ambrose Hill. The recommended new name is Fort Walker in honor of Dr. Mary Edwards Walker. She was an abolitionist, one-time prisoner of war during the U.S. Civil War, and the only female recipient of the Medal of Honor. Fort Hood, Texas is named after Confederate General John Bell Hood. The recommended new name is Fort Cavazos in honor of General Richard E. Cavazos. After distinguishing himself in combat in Korea and Vietnam, he became America's first Hispanic Brigadier General and also the first Hispanic four-star general. Fort Lee, Virginia is named after Confederate General Robert E. Lee. The recommended new name is Fort Greg Adams, honoring Lieutenant General Otto Gregg and Lieutenant Colonel Charity Adams. General Gregg started in the army in 1946 as a private, distinguished himself in Vietnam and retired as a three-star general in 1981. Colonel Adams was a battalion commander and the highest ranking African-American woman during World War II. She distinguished herself through her role in logistics by boosting troop morale after organizing the efficient delivery of mail to over 7 million soldiers stationed in Europe. Fort Pickett, Virginia is named after Confederate General George Pickett, who is famous for Pickett's charge at the Battle of Gettysburg. The recommended new name is Fort Barfoot to honor Medal of Honor recipient Tech Sergeant Van T. Barfoot, who was of indigenous American descent. He fought during World War II Korea and Vietnam. His World War II combat actions make John Rambo look like a Boy Scout. Fort Polk, Louisiana is named after Confederate General Leonidas Polk. This was my first duty station. The new recommended name is Fort Johnson in honor of Sergeant William Henry Johnson. He was a Medal of Honor recipient from World War I. He was also the very first American to win the coveted French Croix de Guerre or Cross of War award. Fort Rocker, Alabama is named after Confederate General Edmund Rocker. The new recommended name is Fort Novosel in honor of Chief Warrant Officer 4, Michael J. Novosel Sr. He was a Medal of Honor recipient who fought in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam, serving in both the Army and the Air Force at different times as a pilot. He distinguished himself by evacuating thousands of wounded U.S. and South Vietnamese soldiers to safety during the Vietnam War. 